Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris and this is part two of the highest and lowest um, video series and today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 20 lowest lowest selling items over the last 90 days. So I hope you enjoyed part one, which was the highest selling items of the last 90 days. And I thought it only fair really to do the lowest selling items just to show you the opposite end of the spectrum and maybe some things that you really don't want to bother picking up at all. Um, so without further ado, I need to flick over to the old screen there. Um, so let's get cracking. Okay, so again, we're gonna count down from 20 down to number one. Number one being the lowest price item that I've sold on my eBay store in the last uh, 90 days. So we'll start off at number 20, which is um, this Doctor Who Sonic Spork. Uh, I'm not a Doctor Who fan, but um, yeah, this was from a loot crate and the cost price is very small because I got a large job of Loot Crate stuff. So I would probably say this probably cost me 50p to one pound. Uh, it sold for 7.99 with free postage, I might add. So number 19 is this book set. It's a William the Shakespeare um, book set. Uh, I think it cost two pound at a children's sale. Uh, sold for 750. Number 18 is this uh, Micro Machines toy set. It's a Star Wars set. Uh, cost price is one pound. Sale price seven pound twenty five. Uh, number 17 is this Universal Jurassic World plush. Uh, I think the cost price on this would have been around 50p. Sale price £7.19. And number 16 is this Jurassic World again. Uh, this time it's a figure. It's Growler the Velociraptor um, with battle damage. But the difference is, you can see there in the title, it says, please read. Um, the it's It's got some uh, fault with the uh, battery compartment doesn't work, the sound and light doesn't work. So that's why this one sold for seven pound. Cost price I think was around two to three pound. Obviously I didn't know it didn't work. So it would have got 11 or 12 pound had it been working. Number 15 is this set of PSP UND videos, the Mighty Boosh set one, two and three. Uh, cost price, I didn't make a lot on these, I don't think. I think this probably cost me uh, maybe between 50p and a pound for each item. So we could say anything between 150 and three pound and it sold for seven pound. Uh, it was part of a job lot, so this was the cheaper end of the stuff. I did make some good profit on the better stuff that came in that job lot. Number 14 is this For Real Friends um, bear. Cost price would have been no more than one pound, I'm pretty sure of that, sold for seven pound. Number 13 is this set of Daredevil comics. I've, I've bought loads of comics in the past, I've still got a lot in stock um, that are unlisted. Um, these have literally got me probably about 10p each, so less than 50p for the four, sold for seven pound. Number 12 is this um, uh, Marmite, Marmite uh, unusual jar. It's empty, there's no Marmite in it, but it's an I love you uh, with a touch of champagne uh, flavor, whatever you call it. Um, I had five of these jars cost price was around a pound each sold for seven pound they all kind of went for different prices but they all went from between seven to ten pound each 
And number 11 is this um, graphic novel. It came from a loot crate, cost price about a pound, um, one to two pound, maximum two pound, sold for 6 99 And we're into the top 10 now. Uh, the top 10 lowest, lowest priced items that I've sold in the last 90 days. So this is number 10. It's a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Funko Racer. Now, I only bought these um, from a wholesaler uh, to get unlocked in Funko on Amazon FBA. Now, I've since not been doing that much on Amazon FBA, so it's probably a bit of a waste of time. But uh, that's why I did it. I bought a job lot of Funko stuff from a wholesaler. This was in it. Um, I think these cost me £3 each. Um, and this sold for £6.50. So there's barely any profit in it at all. But at least I've not lost. So that was number 10. So we are moving down now uh, to the nitty gritty. This is number 9. Now normally these universal mugs or cups go pretty well uh, but this particular one didn't seem to be that sought after probably cost me around a pound at a boot sale sold for 650 there's still profit in it that's the main thing um, but not a lot of profit number eight is this Hawaiian shirt true face men's shirt with a floral design um, it wasn't the best ever. I think it cost me between one and two pound. It sold for six pound forty, so not a lot in it. Um, we're starting to get down to the low price stuff now. What I try to do these days is not buy um, anything that's going to net me less than ten pound. Doesn't always work out that way because. If you think about it, at the end of the day, if you buy something for 50p and you're going to get 8, 9, 10 pound back, you'll probably still buy it. Um, but I try to aim higher than 10 pound on a sale price. Uh, so I don't have a lot of this uh, low value stuff left. It's just mainly um, historic stuff. In fact, you can see from a lot of the backgrounds of these um, pictures. These are old listings that I've had hanging around for quite some time. Anyway, let's move on because we're down to number seven. Here we go. Number seven is this bundle of Finding Nemo Disney items. There's a plush, there's some stories and a DVD. Now, this is a bargain. Whoever picked this up was an absolute steal at £6. You can see the background on that is an old background. This was one of my original listings from probably two, three, even four years old um, that I've slowly reduced in price. The cost price, I still think there's profit in this. Um, probably 50p on the book, 50p on the plush, maximum of a pound on the DVD. So probably two pound, sold for six. Let's move on to number six. And guess what? It's another one of these bloody Funko races. <laughs> um, yeah, as I said, this was part of a job lot of Funko stuff simply bought to unlock Amazon FBA Funko category. Uh, cost price was £3, sold for £6. We're into the top five here. At number five is this uh, small bundle of Kekeshi. Kekeshi, is it? How do you pronounce that? Um, they're basically manga books. Um, I've done really well on manga books. These particular ones are the ones left over from a large job lot. The other ones have made some good profit. These ones weren't particularly sought after. Um, cost price was somewhere around 50p each. So that's £1.50. Sale price £5.99. And um, number four is this build yourself a wooden r2d2 i don't know why you would bother to be honest with you um, building this this thing um, could you really be asked i couldn't to be fair um, that's probably why it just sat there and didn't sell and didn't sell and didn't sell um, cost price was a pound sale price five pound forty and we're into the top three so here's number three it's an adventure time um hand towel set I've still got one of these left to sell. 
uh, cost price was two pound. I actually paid too much for this, really. It sold for a fiver, um, so there's barely anything in that at all. And number two is this Mickey Mouse novelty um, Disney on Ice mug. I thought this might go for more because some of the um, events merchandise like this goes for good money, but this one just got no interest whatsoever. It cost uh, either 50p or a pound, so it's not a total loss. It only sold for a fiver after, after I reduced it a few times. But there you go, you can't win them all, can you? Well, here it is. I'm about to reveal my lowest price sale. I wonder if you can guess what it is yet. I wonder if you can guess. You probably can. If you think about the kind of stuff that I sell, and if you watch the live streams every week, you might know what is at number one. And it is pretty much the lowest price item that I sell in my store. And that's probably why a lot of people have bought them. I've sold a lot of them. And here it is. It's a good old Chupa Chups caps. Get in there. Um, I've sold a lot of these caps. A lot of you guys have bought them. The Chupa Chups crew uh, in full effect. Um, I've sold some at 4 99 Mostly at 5 99 I didn't include the 5 99 ones in that countdown. I just went for the lowest one. Otherwise, the whole top 20 would have been full of Chupa Chups caps. Um, so I went for the lowest one, and that is this one. It sold for 4 99 Somebody made me an offer from 5 99 so I accepted 4 99 um, But uh, this is strictly for um, the fans of Cookie and the Haydens and the Chupa Chups crew. So thank you all for joining that and supporting our channel. But this is my lowest price item. I don't have many left at all. Um, so when they're gone, I'm going to be going way above the £5 mark on my lowest priced items. So there we go. I hope you uh, found that interesting. So that was my rundown of my top 20 lowest priced items that I've sold in my eBay store over the last 90 days. I thought, um, in the interest of fairness, I've done the highest price. Why not do the lowest price? Maybe it, it will help you realise what not to buy. Because uh, it's always about what to buy. Yeah, get this, get that. Look at these amazing sales. Well, this is the other end of the scale. It's not all amazing. Sometimes it's a five quid item, um, as you've seen. So this is mostly stuff that I'm clearing from old. I don't really want to be selling anything less than £10, mainly, if I can help it. Um, so that's my aim. I hope you found it interesting. I know there's not many people who have shown their lowest sales. Um, so, yeah, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you've not watched part one, go and watch part one, which is the highest sales for the last 90 days. But other than that, thanks very much for watching and supporting us. And we'll see you again next time. Bye.